My name is Carlos Ortega. I'm a senior analyst in Hylasoft and my specialization is within simulation. Uh, virtual commissioning uh, or what is behind virtual commissioning is the idea of having a virtual environment which is called a digital twin and be able to interact with it with devices from the physical world. So you have um, for example a robot or a clamp system or a fixture within a manufacturing cell that you want uh, to test in a virtual environment. So you're able to send a signal from the real world into the virtual world with these devices. The biggest benefit for virtual commission is, is savings. Again, if you're able to test ahead of time on these investments that could be in the hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars for equipment, because we're talking a single robot could be above $50,000 to $70,000. So if you have five robots in this cell and you have equipment, clamping systems, fixtures, different products, and you have all this uh, coming together into a manufacturing cell, you're talking a huge investment in there. So you don't want to go into a process without knowing if this process will be able to perform up to the levels you're expecting from it. Uh, virtual commissioning is something that is already happening. Uh, the big companies, the OEMs, uh, mostly automotive OEMs already have this in place and are making uh, most of this testing using virtual commissioning for their manufacturing cells, robotic cells. Uh, this is something Halasoft is able to do already. Uh, this is technology that is already in place for uh, other manufacturers, it's not exclusive for the big manufacturers. And we will have actually a lab uh, set up for doing virtual commissioning and showcase this coming soon in Halasoft. This is something actually we're really excited to have in, in the near future. Uh, but this is technology that is already in place and it's ready to be deployed for everybody. Something really interesting about Halasoft is that we have the knowledge on all these uh, parts that compose the virtual commissioning thing. So we have simulations experts, as me, we have MES experts, we have PLC experts, we have integration cap uh, capabilities, so we have everything in place to taking into this kind of challenge. Uh, this is not something many companies across the world could say.